Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making bubble skirts. Bubble skirts are so quick and so easy. They are removable, so you can put them on any color bubble that you like. And these are just a standard uh, plastic bubbles you can buy really inexpensive at your local stores. You can use any yarn at all, whatever you have on hand, and they really help dress up your bobbles to match whatever color scheme you have going on, or also just to make them look fancy without all of the stitches and hard work that goes into making a completely covered bobble. And yes, if you'd like to follow along with a written pattern, they're available over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. What you'll need to make these bobble skirts is yarn. I'm using Rockabilly by Ice Yarns. It has a nice sheen to it. It's 50 grams and 125 meters. I'll put a link to this in the description box down below. I'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook and you'll also need a darning needle and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. start by making a slip knot, whichever way you normally do. You can leave a bit of a tail, but we're going to work over it and cut it off. Shrink it down and put it onto your hook. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to slip stitch in to the very first chain that we made. So we're not counting this knot, it's the first V right after the knot. And we're going to go right into that bottom part of that chain, because we want two strands of that chain on the top part of our hook. So push your hook in to your first chain. Hold your tail down along your work. And slip stitch to join. Chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're going to work into the next chain and we're going to work around our tail. If, you, if it's difficult to work around your tail, you can sew it in later. And we just want to check our stitches. We have six of these nice V's around our ring. So there's our number six, number five, number four, number three. Here is number two. And this is number one right there. So if you're coming back from your chain, there's a little kind of blump in there. Ignore that. We're going into the first chain and we want to go into the bottom part of that chain. So again, we get two strands of that chain on our hook. So we're going to go in right there. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. So push your hook into your first chain and make one single crochet. And chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Into the next chain right here. So we've gone into this chain, we're going to work into the next and make one single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way around. Each chain is going to get a chain six and a single crochet. So into the next stitch, one single crochet. And chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next chain right here, one single crochet. And try to work over that tail if you can. And chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into the next chain right here, one single crochet. And chain six. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Now into the next chain, this little one right here. You see how it's kind of shrunken up? You want to go into that chain and make one single crochet. Chain six again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We can cut that tail so it's a bit out of our way now. It won't block us. So into this next little stitch right here, we're going to go in into the bottom part so we get two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook and we're going to slip stitch to join. So push your hook in and slip stitch. that loop up a little bit, pull your hook up, and we're going to slip stitch in to the chain. We want to work our way into the center of this next little petal. So into the next chain, working your way along, one loose slip stitch. You don't want it to be really tight. Pull your yarn up a little bit again and slip stitch into the next chain. And one more slip stitch. So we're going to do three slip stitches, nice and loose, just to get ourselves into the center of that petal. Just like that. Put your hook into the center of that petal and make one single crochet. And chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight into the next petal, one single crochet. So we're just jumping straight over into the center of the next petal and making one single crochet. Chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Into the center of the next petal, one single crochet. Chain eight, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. Into the center of the next petal, one single crochet. Chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Into the center of the next petal, one single crochet. And chain eight. One, two, Five, six, seven, eight. Single crochet into the next petal and chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now into that first single crochet we made right here, we want to slip stitch to join. So push your hook in and slip stitch. So this is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to join it up into the skirt. So we're going to slip stitch into this chain. We need again to get into the center of that chain. So I'm going to go straight into the very first chain that very first one. We don't want this to be tight. We want it to stretch the same as the regular chains. So we're making loose slip stitches. There's one. Now pull up your hook a little bit so you have extra yarn. Two. So we're slip stitching one into every chain. We want to do four slip stitches. We want to make sure we get right into the fourth chain and nice and loose and then so once we're in the center put your hook into the center of that petal and make one single crochet chain three one 
two, three. Into the center of the next petal, single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Into the center of the next petal, one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, and three. So we're gonna keep doing this all the way around. Single crochet into the petal and chaining three to get to the next petal. One, two, three. Single crochet into the next petal. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet into the next petal. Chain three, one, two, three. And now we're back to where our chain is a bit thicker, where we did those slip stitches. So now look at your work, kind of roll it around so you can see where we joined. We have a single crochet right here at the top. And that gives us a really nice place to slip stitch to. So just look for that first single crochet you made into the space. You'll see that yarn looping into your, the center of your petal. We want to go into that single crochet. So push your hook into the single crochet and slip stitch to join. There is our slip stitch. Chain one. And now into the very same stitch. So right here make one single crochet. So we have this little dome now. We're gonna work around this ring. So just keep an eye on it. We were just working around the top of our, of our bowl, of our little dish. So now into each of these spaces going around, get four single crochets just into the space. So one, two, three, and four into this stitch into that single crochet right there one single crochet so we're making a single crochet into the stitch and four single crochets into each space working all the way around our skirt there's one two three and four, into the single crochet, one single crochet. Into the space, four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Into the stitch, one single crochet. Into the space, four single crochets, two, three, and four. Into the stitch, one single crochet. So we're going to keep going like that all the way around. We have two more spaces to finish up. So four single crochets into the next space. three and four and one into the stitch into the space four single crochets one two three and four and now we're back to where we started this round so we're going to look for that first single crochet that we made right here Right at the top, we're going to slip stitch to join. So slip stitch, chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, you want to leave enough of a tail to sew in a little bit. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Now go ahead and thread your needle. 
we want to poke that down. So I'm just going to go back down into the next stitch and get into that fat part. And now I'm going to work my yarn under just a couple stitches. We don't want to take it too far away because it'll take away the stretch of our skirt and then back the opposite direction. So leaving a stitch behind and bringing it back. Just about three stitches or so. Stretch it out and cut your yarn. Now you can go along this last row and kind of even out where that single crochet is into the center of your, of your last row of petals, like that. And go ahead and grab your bobble inside it out. We want the pretty side out, so that just means this nice little row of Vs along the bottom. And look for your chain six in the center. We want to line that up with the bobble. Push it around your bobble. It'll fit just right. Get your fingers into those little petal areas and you pull that skirt down. It'll be a nice snug fit. And there is your ornament bobble skirt. How sweet is that? So you can put any color underneath and you can switch it up from year to year. If yours was a bit too snug to fit on top of your bobble, you can do an extra chain along our last row. So instead of doing a chain three, you can try a chain four. But you do also want it to be snug enough that it will stay on your ornament and not shrink up. But that is where you would do your adjusting if your bobbles are a smudge bigger than mine or if you just have a difficult time putting it onto your ornament. I'm so glad that you hooked along and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked.